This is the first publication of a series of studies done here at Adam Brooks Hospital, Cambridge, looking at a structured light prothermography, or SLP, a novel non-contact respiratory measurement device. In this study, we examined whether SLP could identify different breathing patterns between chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD, and healthy subjects, as has been observed using other techniques. Conventional devices used to clinically measure breathing require contact with the patient, such as placements of bands around the torso, or use of a mouthpiece and nose clip, and often require the patient to perform a breathing manoeuvre. Some patients, especially the young or the very old, or those in advanced diseases, find this uncomfortable or difficult. The measurement is made during quiet tidal breathing. A structured pattern of light is projected onto the chest and abdomen and using two cameras is tracked over time. A number of breathing patterns are calculated from the movement signal. There is growing interest in the clinical use of SLP, for example in monitoring of post-lung resection patients or patients who are unable to perform standard lung function tests. The patient wears a plain white t-shirt to achieve good contrast for the grit. The grid is positioned with the cross point on the xiphy sternum and adjusted to provide maximum coverage of the chest and abdomen. This positioning is the only calibration required for use of SLP. The patient then is asked to remain still and breathe naturally for five minutes. In this study, we recruited 31 COPD patients from hospital wards, outpatients and GP practices. This gives us a range of severities for our COPD patients. Each patient was age, gender and BMI matched to a healthy subject. 12 breathing parameters and their variability were compared between the two groups. This screen displays a 3D reconstruction of the thoraco-abdominal wall, average thoraco-abdominal displacement over time, a plot of thoracic versus abdominal movement, and a surrogate flow volume loop derived from the displacement of the thoraco-abdominal wall and its derivative. Numerical outputs are displayed here. These include parameters which describe breath timings, flow ratios, relative contributions and asynchrony between regions. Our results identified 10 parameters which differed between COPD and healthy subjects. In the COPD patients, inspiratory time and ratios derived from inspiratory time were all shorter and less variable. Time to reach peak tidal expiratory flow over expiratory time was shorter and also less variable in the COPD patients. Thoracoabdominal asynchrony was higher in the COPD patients. IE50 was significantly higher in COPD patients. IE50 is the ratio between inspiratory flow and expiratory flow at 50% of tidal displacement. IE50 was higher in approximately 85% of the COPD patients. Our results show that SLP can detect differences between COPD and healthy subjects with measurements made during tidal breathing. This provides support for further investigation of SLP as a clinical tool.